Is this real life right now? A lot of you guys might find this disturbing, but this guy Danny was seen in a video swallowing a live goldfish. Yes. I said it. What the heck was he thinking? I'm not gonna show you guys the video, obviously, because I don't wanna freak you guys out. But just remember the story links and this video, if you guys wanna, for some reason you guys wanna watch this video, the links are down there below in the description. You guys can click it and go watch it. But don't go before the end of this video, so keep watching. So the reason why Danny swallowed this live goldfish was for $100, for 100 British pounds. It was for a bet. This was his friend's goldfish. This cruel video is considered as animal cruelty. So for 100 bucks, this guy can now be prosecuted for this crime so was it really worth it and it might not stop at Danny his friends or whoever else was involved with the filming or involved with this bet well they might be prosecuted as well Danny thought that this would be funny but for me I don't know I don't agree I didn't find anything funny about this at all if you guys think that this was cruel hit the like button on this video and also in the comment section below let me know what you guys think of this whole situation for some reason we have another animal cruelty story I want to share this with you guys this next story is really weird over in China this rat was caught stealing rice so he was tied up this rat was tied up to a trolley and he has this big note on him the person who did this was a convenience store owner I mean this is just disgusting to put a rat like that on display how are you gonna get customers in like that like hey uh, this is the guy to greet you it says rat so I found out what the note said on the rat and it's actually pretty funny and I'll explain why it reads huh is this the best you could do? I find it funny because it looks like this rat was the one that actually wrote this sign. This convenience store owner is pretty funny, but again, this is animal cruelty. Well, now this little guy is all over the internet and all over social media. What do you guys think about it? Okay, let's talk about the 16-year-old British student, Muhammad Ali. Yes, Muhammad Ali, I think that is an amazing name to have. There's no relations. Well, Muhammad was just offered 5 million euros by a US investor, and this is for his money-saving website that he created in his bedroom in his parents' house. That's so crazy. If you could imagine the chance to be like a millionaire at the age of 16 years old. Well, for Muhammad, he turned that offer down because he thinks he can get a whole lot more money. Let's just hope he's right. This kid is super smart. At the age of 12 years old, he created his own video game and financial app. Okay, let's talk about this World War II veteran who is 94 years old and he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. This is Sandy Saunders who suffered from 40% burns when his plane crashed at the end of World War II and he almost died in that accident. Well, fast forward 70 years later, he decided to get back in that exact plane, which was a Tiger Moth biplane and fly it. This was all for a BBC tribute show. So he was flying this plane and a BBC member was in the back seat. Sandy Saunders said while he was flying that this brought back a whole lot of memories and he wished that he was young again. Police have seized $60 million worth of cocaine from a Japanese whaling boat. Six men on board were charged. There was 186 kilograms of cocaine, which is insane. That is a whole lot. Well, you guys are looking at the pictures right now. They wrapped it in plastic bricks with a horse and like those camel stickers on it. I guess they tried to disguise it, but clearly this was a huge fail. Also, the police seized $93,000 worth of cash and other drugs on board. Also in the news, Russia announced that they have developed next generation generation of weapons using plasma, lasers, and also electromagnetic forces along with physical principles never used before. Russia says that the future of warfare was about detecting the enemy quicker and that's how you can win. This is the latest news about President Vladimir Putin trying to ramp up Russia's armed forces. So the question is, who are they going to war with? Well, I might have that answer for you guys right now. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin see the fight against ISIS as a major priority. So Russia might be teaming up with America to try to take out their common enemy. And we all know Donald Trump wants to blow up ISIS. I would bomb the shit out of him. Well, someone who wants to blow up uh, President Donald Trump is apparently Madonna. She said that she wants to blow up the White House, which is insane, which is an insane thing to say as an American citizen. The Secret Service has reportedly said that they will investigate her comment. All right, would you guys be able to survive eight months in a tiny dome with five other people? Well, right now, six scientists are willing to find out what it would be like to, you know, live life on Mars. So they took part of this Mars simulator in Hawaii. This small team will have no physical contact with people in the outside world. NASA plans to send people on this long voyage to Mars by the 2030s. That's a long time away, but you know what? It's going to quickly approach. And if NASA is actually able to do something like that, that would just be so remarkable. That would be incredible. So more news for you guys. Google is going to begin selling its own Android smartwatches, and this is the take on the Apple Watch. The first Android Wear 2.0 watches will debut on February 9th. I have not seen advertisements for this yet, and I don't know. I'm not really excited for it. I don't think 
think Apple products are the best, but they know how to advertise stuff. They know how to promote it in a way that makes you feel like you absolutely need it, which is why I have so many Apple products. Just wanted to share with some of you guys some movie trailers. Logan International trailer number two is out. Hello. You know you gotta pay for that, right? Hey, come on. Not okay. I'm actually really excited for this movie. I mean, how can you not be? This is my favorite character in the X-Men. I can't wait till it comes out. The initial release date for that movie is March 2nd. The Lost City of Z International trailer also just came out. This movie is based from an incredible true story. We may well write a whole new chapter in history. I call it set. It is there. And we must find it. Power Rangers also came out, the new trailer came out a few days ago, and here that is. None of us really know each other. We're all screw-ups. But somehow, we were all in the same place at the same time when Billy found those coins. <laughs> Guys, check out how we glow. I'm blue. <laughs> oh, I'm black. What? I am. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm about to show you the ultimate way to cheat on your test. You're welcome. So there's this app where all you have to do, this is, it's so simple. You just take a picture of the question and this app will answer the question for you. I mean, how sick is that? And this comes within seconds. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one where we do this whole thing all over again.